Good evening and welcome to Naho Mono Hawaii's 62nd annual Luau and Huike. My name is Jenna and I'm representing the class of 2026. Hi everybody, my name is Zoe and I'll be representing the class of 2023. Hello everybody, my name is Mia and I'll be representing the class of 2023. Hello, my name is Karen and I'll be representing the class of 2023. Oh, how's it? My name is Gavin, and I'll be representing the class of 2023. And, and together, together, we will be your masters, masters of ceremony for the 62nd annual Luau and Huike. I will be going over the safety procedures for tonight. Restrooms are located through the main entrance door to the right, and in case of a fire, fire emergency exits are to the left of the gymnasium. Also, for the safety of our dancers, please do not walk in the front area of this stage. It is a fire hazard. Yeah. <laughs> to start our program, Pacific would like to recognize that we are honored to hold this program on the traditional lands of the Utfalutsi, also known as the Tualatin Kalapuyas, represented by David Harrelson of the Confederated Tribes of the Grand Ronde. roots in ancient Kanaka Maoli culture connect to the roots of the indigenous cultures of all the Mana Nui. Reconnecting and honoring these connections and reinvigorating the spirit of aloha is part of our kuleana, or responsibility. Our deepest mahalo is given to this opportunity to present the many cultures of Hawaii from our lands to yours. Mahalo. Luo and Huike is an annual display of talent, hard work, and dedication from the students of Nahomona o Hawaii. Luau and Hoike come from the Hawaiian language. Luau is a big Hawaiian feast and a taro leaf that is used in many main dishes, such as lau lau. Hoike is the show part of the event, where our students get to showcase the many different cultures in Hawaii, such as Filipino, Hawaiian, Maori, Samoan, Tongan, Tahitian, and more. We extend our deepest aloha and mahalo to everyone who contributed in every way possible. And we're excited to be celebrating with you all. This year's Luau and Ho'ike theme is Eho'i Ikupiko, or Return to the Source. Eho'i Ikupiko is a way for all of us at Pacific University to connect to our past, present, and future. The knowledge passed down from our ancestors provides a foundation to build community with others in the present and future. Before we start our program, we ask that in order for you to enjoy the full experience of this evening, to please silence your cell phones. And for the safety of our dancers, there's no flash photography that is allowed. Small kind hard to focus when you have plenty of cameras flashing in your faces. 
We do have digital programs that are accessible through the QR codes posted around here inside the gym. But please, be courteous to the dancers and those around you. And hey, smile and have a little bit of fun at tonight. To further educate you all, we have created a cultural video to better connect us to our theme, a e Ho'i'i Kapiko. This will allow you, our audience, to better understand who our people are and where we come from. Sit back and relax as we take a deeper look into our Native history. Aloha and welcome to the 62nd annual Luau and Ho'ike. My name is Noah Yamashiro and I'm a junior here at Pacific University. The Luau and Ho'ike welcomes participants from all cultures and backgrounds, just like our Pacific University Ohana. We are proud to represent diverse backgrounds from Hawaii, Samoa, Tonga, Tahiti, Aotearoa, and the Philippines. Here is a sampling of some of the cultures included in this amazing event that you're about to see. Hawaii is located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and there's eight islands within the Hawaiian Islands. Starting from east to west, there's Hawaii, Maui, Kaho'olawe, Lanai, Molokai, Oahu, Kauai, and Niihau. In the Hawaiian culture, we have two types of hula. We have the hula kahiko and the hula awana. Hula kahiko is the more traditional type of hula and it's usually accompanied with oli or chant. Awana is usually accompanied with string instruments and the meaning of awana is to wander which is why we see the dancers move around the stage. Hula is performed by all genders and is performed to tell a story through the mele and hula itself. Hula is usually performed at celebrations or as a ho'okupu or offering. Hula was banned in 1830 and was illegal to perform when Hawaiians converted to Christianity. It was seen as vulgar and sinful. It was brought back by Kawikeauli Kamehameha III and also seen through Kalakaua Kamehameha VII as he created the big festival called Merry Monarch in honor of Hula. The Maori culture is located in New Zealand or in their native tongue it's pronounced Aotearoa. In the Maori culture there's a lot of dances but the dances we will be showcasing in this Luau and Hoike would be the poi and the haka. Poi is performed by both men and women. Poi is a ball on a string, and it was used to perfect coordination, flexibility as well. The haka was performed by both men and women as well. Uh, this was a cultural dance that was done after war to show their escape from death. And in the haka, you will see a lot of opening of the eyes and sticking out of the tongue, that is called the pukana. Samoan culture is located in the islands of Samoa, so that is Western Samoa as well as American Samoa. Western and American Samoa are in the South Pacific and they are a part of the Polynesian Triangle. Polynesian cultures have a lot of similarities. Um, so some of their similarities are they're very centered around family, language, and the land. A few of the dances that are being showcased in this year's Duo and Huike from Samoa are Siva, the Sasa, the Fa'atau Pati, and Siva Afi. Siva is really similar to Hula, so the dancers will be telling a story with their movements and both men and women can participate. Siva is the Samoan term for dance and is one of the many types of Samoan dancing. It's a very graceful dance, and usually within a Siva section, there is something called the Taolunga, so that's another type of Samoan dance, and it's probably also the most well-known. The Taolunga usually signifies the conclusion of a monumental task, such as graduation. Traditionally, the Taolunga is done by the chief's son or daughter, who is known as either a Taupo or a Manaya. They represent the malu, or dignity and pride of the village. The fa'atau pati is known as the Samoan slap dance. In Samoan, the word pati in fa'atau pati means to clap. So fa'atau pati means to forcefully clap or slap, and it is traditionally performed by a group of men, and it requires strength and stability. Siva afi, which is also known as fire knife, it's one of the origins of Samoan culture. A Siva Afi is a Samoan war dance that involves the use of nifa oti, which is a war knife to display a warrior's spirit and prowess through skilled spinning of the nifa oti. Historically, warriors would spin their nifa oti to perform ailalo with their war clubs that consist of sharp edges, shark teeth, and more dangerous features. 
Ailalo is the performance of the Nipo Oti and was commonly performed during ceremonial processions. My culture is located in the Philippines in the South Pacific Ocean. Tinikling is a really culturally important dance, I think, for Filipino culture. So it involves um, dancers weaving and stepping between two bamboo poles that are being clapped together to the beat. During Filipino um, colonization, farmers actually used to be punished that way where they would get like sticks or bamboo poles um, hit against their feet for maybe not farming fast enough or working hard enough. So now that's kind of turned into like a celebration of perseverance and getting through all of that. Sometimes people are scared of it because it looks um, really dangerous and I think that's part of the point. Like it comes from a really dangerous and kind of dark part of Filipino culture, but the fact that it's celebrated so openly now um, as a sign of perseverance is something to be proud of. So Tahiti is the largest island in French Polynesia. In 1880, Tahiti was colonized by French explorers. Similarly to Hawaii, not everyone from Tahiti is Tahitian. So Tahitian, also called Ori Tahiti, has various styles of dances, but some of the most popular ones are Otea, Aparima, Hivinao, and Paoa. The style of Ori Tahiti that is being performed tonight for Luau and Hoike is called Otea, and traditionally it was only performed by men, but now it's performed by both men and women, either together or separately. And Otea is, uses um, Tahitian drums, which is very rhythmic and fast. So I'm representing the Tongan culture, and this culture is represented southwest of Hawaii um, in the Pacific Ocean, and it's 171 islands, and 45 of them are inhabited. Uh, so inside the Tongan culture, uh, there are three main dances, the Tao Oruma, which is just uh, a dance for women or men to get like an applause. Uh, there's a Laka Laka, which is a dance for only men. That's a national uh, group dance. And then there's the Kaila, which is a war dance. But the dance we're gonna be representing in the Luau is the Mako, which is a non-traditional male dance. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy this year's annual Luau and Hoike. For our first performance of the night, we would like to welcome our vahine, or women, as they perform Ohula Kahiko. They present to you my Kai Kauai, a melee about famous places on the island of Kauai, such as Hanale, known for its taro farming, Lihue, my hometown, represent, known for its sugarcane mills and traditional plantation homes, and lastly, my mea, known for its dry climate and cowboy culture. We would like to appreciate and honor where we come from by providing knowledge to others. Hold on as our beautiful vahine take us to the island of Kauai.
will now share a melee about Kalakaua, the last reigning king of Hawaii. Kalakaua loved to travel and create new connections, but always returned home to Hawaii. During his reign, he visited many countries, sharing Hawaiian traditions, food, and knowledge. He was also instrumental in preserving many traditions, such as hula, and one of the founding fathers of the Merry Monarch Festival, which is a hula competition held every year on the island of Hawaii. Join these young men as they honor the legacy of King David Kalakaua.
Thank you. The Bahini will now dance to a melee titled Hoi Hoi Nauva'a, which takes you on a journey between the islands of Hawaii, Maui, and Molokai, where many of us call home and a foundation to our ancestral knowledge. We have all traveled far to gain more knowledge here in Oregon, our home away from home, but take pride in who we are and where we come from. With this knowledge, it is that we are able to proceed with our pride in doing our schoolwork. Thank you all for being here, and please acknowledge the beauty, grace, and joy of our Vahine.
our next hula features the newest faces of our club, the freshman class. They'll be dancing to the mele Ku'u Ho Aloha. Ku'u Ho Aloha emphasizes the importance of spreading aloha to all that we meet. This art of greeting with love has been learned and passed through many generations. Without further ado, the freshman class share Ku'u Ho Aloha. Every year, Pacific University offers a one-credit hula and ukulele class where students are able to learn Hawaiian culture through song and dance. This year, our hula class would like to showcase all that they have learned through a melee entitled Ulili A, which tells the story of the Ulili, or the wandling toddler birds, who make their journey from Alaska to Hawaii during the winter months. These birds are much like the students, traveling back and forth from Oregon to their hometowns, where they often spend the winter months with their family. Each year, the tradition of the Ulili migration is passed down to new generations, similarly to how hula is passed down. Please welcome our hula class to the stage.
The composers of this lively manner speak about the beauty of Hanoma Bay on the island of Oahu. Long ago, Hanoma Bay was formed within a volcanic cone. In the 1800s, the bay was known to be an excellent area for fishing, as well as an area where ali'i, or Hawaiian royalty, stayed for entertainment. Today, Hanoma Bay offers a pristine marine ecosystem for all to enjoy. Listen closely as our kindness share with you the history of this special place.
This next mele is titled Eho Ike Aloha Iraia Tea and talks about the beautiful island of Tahiti. We hope you enjoy. Each of the Hawaiian islands have different winds and rains that are unique to their own moku or districts and ahupua'a or land divisions. They are named based on these characteristics, location, and figurative meanings. Kula'iwi Uluvehi Vehi is a mele that depicts the famous winds and rains of Oahu. Sit back and relax as our lovely couples perform to this mele.
For the first time in Luau and Hoike history, we present to you a dance from the beautiful islands of Donga. The young men will now be dancing to a Tongan Mako or a fast paced men's war dance, the song entitled Mate Ma'a Tonga, which means to die for Donga. Commonly referenced in Tongan communities worldwide, this dance displays the undying love the people of Tonga have for their king, elders, and country. Join these young men as they showcase the strength and solidarity of the Tongan rugby athletes who continue to fight for Tonga with their teammates. Oh, wow. <laughs>
Our next dance comes from the Māori people of New Zealand. This dance implements the use of poi. Poi is the Māori word for ball on a cord. The Māori people of New Zealand use the poi to improve the strength and flexibility in their hands and arms, as well as improving coordination for weaving in battle. Tonight, we'll be presenting to you both a traditional and modern version of poi. Watch out for the many different levels of techniques and variety of movements. Oh, how's it, Auntie Mia? What? You see my decline up here? Auntie, we're the same age. And what, what's the kind? You, oh, I meant my slippers. You see my slippers up here on the stage? I gotta go bathroom fast, Kai. Oh, your socks. Yeah, they're backstage. On the chair. Sock? I said slippers. Your, your socks. Oh, I forgot. I meant it's called flip-flops up here. Oh. Back home, we call them slippers, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'll Did you see them though? Oh, they were outside the door actually. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Shoots. No problem. What does shoots mean? <laughs> Mia, I, I really gotta go bathroom. I'm sorry. But shoots basically means like yes or like sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if I say, Gavin, let's meet up at the club, 3 p.m., shoots, then that's good. That's what we do. Roger that. What does that mean? <laughs> I, I cannot keep up with, with the slangs and the terms. I don't want to look stupid. It means yes. So Raja and shoots means yes. Roger that. So which one do I use? I don't, you know what I mean? OK, OK, for example, like, if you were like, oh, you want to go backstage and hang out with everyone? Right. I'd be like, shoots. Shoots. But then if you said, Oh, Gavin, you can eat the rest of my Zippy's dinner. I'd be like, Roger that. Okay, sounds Wait, good. I don't want you to eat the rest of my. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so, to carry on, we wanted to give you guys a quick disclaimer that we will be turning all the lights off in the gym so that you can better see the poi. If you have any light sensitivities, please know that the poi will be flashing. And now we will be tr presenting to you traditional poi.
my father told me it's a beautiful life so make sure you always open up your eyes to all the adventures go against the tide before you know it you'll be The Fa'ata Party or Samoan Slap Dance comes from the Samoan people. The Fa'ata Party is a display of strength and stability. This dance is performed by slapping the body to make a noise or rhythm. Its high table beat is sure to get your blood boiling, so don't be afraid to join in by making all the noise you want.
Whose uncle is this? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Everybody stand up. Everybody. Come on. Everybody stand up. Everybody. Everybody stand up. Who is Lunga? Who is Lunga? In Samoa, before we do any number, we warm it up. Okay? Don't laugh. You're not a Samoan. Oh, okay. Okay. Everybody follow me or repeat after me. Okay? When I say Mili, Mili means For the half, because we were the last one before the halftime. In Samoa, where's Auntie Jenna? Auntie Jenna, where are you? Auntie Jenna, where are you? Where is she? Where is she? Auntie Jenna, I am very sorry <laughs> because I heard you don't want me to uh, tell everybody for a donation or put a dollar down. This is my culture. This is Samoan culture. Every dance, every Samoan dance, every Samoan number, you guys love our club, right? You guys love the Polynesian club over here in the Pacific. So, Andy Jenna, I am very sorry. I love you, but let me to my culture, okay? All right. In the island of Samoa, you rich in your pocket? <laughs> Whatever you have, help our club. Okay? So this is the first one. This is first Fatal Party. Second half. Ho oh, ho ho ho! The second half coming. You watch. More money. So get in your get in your pocket. Whatever you have in your wallet. I seen a lady try to kick her purse back. Hey. <laughs> You guys already ate my food. You pay for the food. You pay for the entertainment. Okay? So, whatever you have. Okay, I'm gonna have Auntie Auntie. Come on, bring its call. Where's Auntie? Bring, bring. It's called SOB. Not the one you're thinking about. <laughs> SOB, bring it up over here. SOB, Samoan Open Bank. Ha 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 ha. Uh, hurry up, handle it, handle it, amigo. Handle it, senorita. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Eh, eh, okay. This is SOP, Samoan Open Bank. So whatever you do, your pocket. If you have a credit card, give me your number. <laughs> give me a pin number and your credit card. You're never going to see me again. Okay? Are you guys ready? Yeah? Are you ready? She doesn't look too good. All you gotta do is just stand up and go like this. No, not yet? Okay, Lee, enjoy yourself. Mahalo, Favitai Tiralava, muchas gracias. Salamat, Malole Lee. Tamo! Talia! Poki Poki Mai, Kas, Lua, Olufa! Stand up, 
concludes the first half of our show. We will now take the next 10 minutes to use the restroom, stretch our legs, or cruise the local store for some local goodies. Just a reminder that our bathroom is located to the right of the Hall of Fame, and there are no open food or drinks allowed in the gymnasium. So no aunties or moms sneaking any vodka in their flask, okay? Okay. We will also be honoring a few key people who have made this event come together. So please, don't go far.
to be a member of the Luau and Ho'ike board. Tonight, I have the honor of introducing a few of my friends and classmates who have made this event so special. Please hold your applause until all of the names have been called. Hayaku, a senior from Kapahulu, O'ahu. Briley Kovalov, a senior from Honolulu, O'ahu. Kiki Monta, who unfortunately cannot be with us tonight. She is also a senior from Keokaha, Hawaii. Shei Nishimura, a junior from Mililani, O'ahu. Hunter Atangi, a junior from Kaimuki, O'ahu. Jordan Spencer, a sophomore from Makaha, O'ahu. Noe Hussey, a sophomore from Kailua, O'ahu. Noah Yamashiro, our treasurer, a junior from Beaverton, Oregon. And last but not least, Brooklyn Kan, our freshman secretary from Ola'a, Hawaii. We would now like to honor our advisor who has been instrumental in our success and well-being throughout the entire year at Pacific. We would not be where we are and who we are without your endless love, hard work, support, and guidance. Everyone, please give a round of applause to our NHH advisor, Auntie Jana Lei Chun. Now we would like to recognize the people who work tirelessly to make sure everything runs smoothly from thousands of miles away. Our island and state coordinators, we ask that you hold your applause until everyone is on stage. Uncle Gavin Tanoi, Auntie Iris Higashi Oshiro and Auntie Jane Morales, Auntie Jerry Toyofuku, Auntie Wendy and Uncle Eddie Talmodo, Auntie Carolyn Quindica and Uncle Donnie Ma'a. our parent chairs could you all please stand so we can show our appreciation for all of your support Mahalo. as many of you know this year we welcomed our first alumna president auntie Jenny Coyle back to Pacific University extend our deepest mahalo to you for your time and dedication to all of the Hamana at Pacific University. We can't wait to see your dance skills and knowledge progress throughout the coming years. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you. Thank you everyone and welcome. We are thrilled to have you all here at the 62nd annual NHOH Luau and Oiki. And as I shared with, with our students last night, what started in 1962 with 16 student performers has brought us all here tonight for this incredible, incredible event. I want to take a moment and thank those students. And I want to thank all of our staff and all of the families that are here for making this event possible. To Auntie Jana and our Hawaii Outreach Programming, all of our student affairs staff who are here, you all know who you are. Thank you for your tireless work for our students. I also want to thank our facilities team, the custodial services, and everyone in conferences and events, and the alumni office, and I go on and on and on, but that means you have huge ohana behind all of you. Yeah. <laughs> to all of our
our student leaders, the organizers, all of you, and performers. Thank you for your commitment to bringing this all together, but also the commitment that you've all shown to each other over these coming months as you learn together, and hopefully someday, yes, you will teach me some moves. Roger that. <laughs> to the families who volunteer their time, and there are so many of you here, and that, that's what makes the Pacific University experience so special, because our ohana is this entire room and beyond those that are watching us on TV as we stream. I wanna thank you all for the energy that you've put into this event, for being a part of our Boxer Ohana family, and all of the resources, especially the money, the fundraiser, I think I'm gonna hire you. We really appreciate your endless support. And then to all of our guests that are here tonight, thank you for being here, thank you for showing up for our Pacific students. Keep yelling, keep giving, and enjoy the rest of the show. We are missing three very special members of our NHOH Ohana this evening. Longtime NHOH advisor, Auntie Edna Gehring, her husband, Uncle Hans, and her mom, Auntie Rebecca Dorr. We send our prayers and aloha to them as Uncle Hans recuperates after a procedure on Oahu. Tonight, we invite alumnus Trey Kodama, class of 2016, to announce this year and last year's recipients of the Auntie Edna and Uncle Hans Gehring Scholarship. Aloha everyone. Tonight we are excited to announce this year's Auntie Edna and Uncle Hans scholarship recipients. Recipients of this scholarship are members of NHOH who demonstrate strong leadership skills and actively promote the NHOH mission and participate in NHOH events. First, Kaylee Brooke Manuel, a senior education major, psychology minor from Nanakuli, has been an active member of NHOH a peer mentor, and on various Luau and Hoike committee. Along with her committee members and Professor Kanani Miyamoto, Kaylee Brooke was instrumental in the realization of this beautiful backdrop. Kaylee Brooke works on and off campus, volunteers her time at a local senior center, an elementary school, basketball clinics, and her church back home in Hawaii. She played on Pacific's basketball team and has been a positive light with a quick smile. After graduating, commitment, oh, sorry. Whew. Kaylee hopes to return back home to teach at our alma mater, Kamehameha Schools. Congrats, Kaylee. I got all excited for Kamehameha. Our second recipient, Terina DeFries, also known as Ted or Teddy, to her close friends, will soon be Dr. DeFries as she is currently finishing her first year of optometry school. Like Kaylee, Ted has been an active member of NHOH, serving on committees as well as on the exec board as a programmer for a year and LNH board for three. Teddy has been, Teddy has worked several jobs on campus, participated within Pacific volleyball team and volunteered her time with various aspects of volleyball back home in Hawaii. Because of all her experience with LNH, Teddy continues to be an integral source of knowledge and support for this event. We definitely lean on Teddy for that expertise and guidance. She's a good friend to all, and we are forever grateful. Congratulations, Teddy. Before we continue our program, we wanted to extend a special mahalo to one of our sponsors this year. Words cannot explain how appreciative NHOH is for the sponsorship from Alaska Airlines. This event would not be possible without the unconditional support from these individuals and Alaska Airlines.
We would like to specifically thank Auntie Kathy Fleskes, class of 86, and Uncle Lindsey Struthers, also class of 86, as well as Alaska Airlines. These two spend their time knocking on doors, letting Alaska know how their support will provide unique opportunities for students in our program to gain organizational and leadership skills so that they can better advocate for their future. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We would also like to acknowledge and appreciate a few behind the scene members of our Pacific University Ohana. Although you may not see them every day, this event would not be possible without them. We ask that you hold your applause until all names have been called. CPS, Pete Urchin, Dave Decker, the Copy Center, A Sport, Facilities and Custodial Teams, the Mailroom Aunties, Auntie Denise, Evie Van, Ian Imamura, Steve Harper from Indigo Designs, Uncle Bruce, Brian, and Auntie Fileski, John Kobo and his crew from TVC TV, Daniel Kong Dong and Andrew from Foco Audio, and last but not least, Alaska Airlines. Thank you for always supporting Naho Mana o Hawaii. Now, give yourselves, students, family, staff, and friends a round of applause for being here to support and witness the hard work of NHOH. And without further ado, please enjoy the rest of the program as we continue with the second half. No task is too big when done together by all. Olelo no eo 142. Luau and Hoike requires the support and dedication of both families and friends near and far. Throughout the year, we have captured a few of these moments that made this entire event possible today. Join us in recognizing the hard work of our Pacific Ohana by, as we showcase our behind the scenes video. This year, I am the NHOH president. Um, I'm also the co-chair for donations and thank you. And I'm also dancing in Wahina Kahiko, Siva, Hula class, and seniors. This year, I am doing three dances and musicians. This year, I am a member of the Lu'au and Ho'ike board, and I'm also a co-chair of the musicians committee. To me, e hoi kopiko means to return to our foundational values and roots of our culture and kind of uh, grounding us back to our, our origin or our, our why, why we do what we do. To me, this year's theme means return to the source, return to the source, return to the source. Um, I think a huge thing um, with the theme this year is that we must look back to those that have given us knowledge and have passed down their traditions in order for us to be able to continue to pass it on to future generations. This year I did a lot of like reflecting about how far I've come and realizing that it's like the end of my undergrad. So going back to the source I've been thinking a lot about my family and um, the culture I come from. So this year's theme is really just about like, to me at least, it's like honoring our past generations and just honoring where we've come from and just showing respect for those who've gone before us and where we've come from really. Uh, so this year being a junior and previously experiencing uh, Luau and Hoike last year, I think I would feel more confident because now that I know what it's like to participate in such a big event. Um, I know how to balance luau and hoike responsibilities with my social life and academics. <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward to the actual performance. Uh, I like to 
have a good show. I like to entertain people. Um, so I think being in front of the crowd would be a good opportunity for me. And I also want to get closer to everybody and uh, make new relationships. I think the most important loina that NHOH should cultivate and does cultivate uh, for the participants in the club is kuleana, which is responsibility. We, we the people of Hawaii, not only of Native heritage, but just the people who live there, have a responsibility to portray our culture and the place that we come from like correctly. To me, the most important value that NHOH cultivates is pilina. So there is a Olelo no eao that says he pilina vehena ole, um, and that is talking about an inseparable relationship. Um, so NHOH really creates bonds that are long lasting, and I believe that those bonds that we've created here in NHOH will last forever. You know, it's like not everyone comes from the same place or same background, but like everyone comes here and they're just like a family, and it's just an awesome environment. And I hope. Uh, Freshmen coming in uh, next year and uh, people at Luau and Hoika can see how much love and care that we put into this and hopefully through uh, the dances and the music you can see uh, the loving family that we have cultivated and uh, expressed here at Pacific. It really made me accountable. Um, I had to be at every meeting, I had to be at every practice and I think it also cultivates effort, uh, hard work and teamwork. I believe it teaches us discipline, value, respect, and aloha, yeah. A few people that I would like to shout out are Auntie Jana, Auntie Hope, and Auntie Carolyn. They do so much for our entire club and the whole process of Luau. It would be impossible without them. I want to give a huge shout out to all the parents up here and at home who have supported um, the Haumana or students in many different ways, from doing weekly FaceTimes to sending up care packages, um, sewing costumes and collecting florals from back home. They support us in a lot of different ways. Definitely the parents. Uh, they're the ones who are doing everything at home and even over here. They do things from donating to picking floral to cooking food and even helping day of. And I think we all really appreciate their support. Pacific has offered me a ton of opportunities here and um, I'm just really grateful for all of those and meeting all of the new people and creating new friendships and new memories along the way. I'd like to say thank you to my fellow seniors. I think we were here freshman year and that was the first luau that got canceled so we knew like half of what was going on but never the full picture and somehow working really really hard to get it to come together last year was amazing, and then now it's already our last one this year, so I have to shout out the seniors for working really hard, like all the time. Now that I'm a senior, I've learned how valuable it can be to just start a simple conversation with someone, because you'll not only get to know them better, but that person might just end up being your best friend, so. NHOH really helped me to be more open-minded and to try new things. Um, I just, through the, the club, I just um, try to go out and do more. Like, I don't really just stay home. I even joined the club, and then I got to be a part of the exec board at first, and then even try out for the Luau board. And then even being able to instruct a men's Awana this year is going out of my comfort zone as well. Something that NHOH has taught me that I will carry after I graduate from Pacific is Ohana is over everything. Later down the line, I'm not gonna remember what bio class I took or what I scored on the next exam, but I'm gonna remember the people that made Pacific home. Uh, the people and the memories that I make are gonna be always here. 
I love you guys. Talofa, to start off the second half of our show, we'd like to take you on a journey to the beautiful islands of Samoa, where our students will now showcase their Samoan Siva skills to this, to this specific Samoan Pese or song that talks about the importance of family. Friends and lovers may come and go throughout your lifetime, but family will always be by your side. While it is a Samoan custom to show your love and support to our dancers by showering them in dollar bills, we would like to ask that you refrain from being on stage and instead participate on the main floor to honor our dancers.
Hello, everybody. How's it going, everyone? Oh, how's it going, everyone? Right. Hello. There we go. There That's we go. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. So we're at the portion of the show where we're going to play a little bit of a game with you guys. Some of you guys may know, some of you guys may not, but it's called Gimme Gimme. It's a fun game, for those of you who don't know, where you get an object that I call out, maybe Gimme Gimme someone in a white shirt. And if you're in a white shirt, you'd come up. I'd verify that shirt is indeed white, and you get a little prize up here. A super simple, fun game that anybody can participate in because we want to meet you guys. Yeah. So try and run up here. It's a lot of fun. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to be starting us off. Um, this first one's specifically for the kids or the keiki. Mm -hmm. So give me, give me the best macarena. Of course, we'll sing it and dance it with you, but you're going to be in the middle. Any kids? Anyone? Any kids? We'll do it with come up you. to the okay. stage. Yeah. Come on up up to the stage. Right up here, to the stage. Come up stage. Come up the stairs. Come up stage. There you go. Is there anybody else? Macarena? That knows how to do the macarena? We'll do it with you. What's Don't your be name? shy. Come on. Don't be shy. Here we have Jack, everyone. Say hi to Jack. What's your name? Hey, Jack, we're going to go to the middle. <laughs> come on. What's yeah. your name? What's your name again? Manu. Here we have Manu. Say hi to Manu. Hi. Everybody say hi to Ben. This is Ben. <laughs> hi, Ben. Oh. Telenor is right here. Say hi to Telenor. Hello. What's your Hello. name? Okay. This is Ben, everyone, if you guys didn't hear. Just making sure. Hi. Hello. Oh. Okay, perfect. Oh, what are your names? My name is Hayden. This is Hayden. Hi, Hayden. Hi, Hayden. Hi, Hayden. What's your name? Maple? This is Maple. Hi, Maple. Hi, Maple. Hi, Maple. Okay, so we're just going to have you guys all kind of stand in the circle. Yeah. Just inside a nice of us. Little circle for us. We'll sing it for you guys, and then we're just going to dance in a circle. Okay, you guys ready? Ready? And if you guys know the song, okay. too, you can sing it, too. I don't know what that yeah, well. Yeah, sing with us, please. <laughs> One, two, two three. three. Hey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. Hey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. Hey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. Hey, Macarena. A little applause, we a have little prizes applause. for all of you. Nice job, you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming up and doing the Macarena with us. Great job. That takes a lot of courage. Can you give a round of applause yeah. for them, everyone? All right, that was great. That all was of them really were wonderful. One. Our moves and everything. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, for our next gimme gimme, and I saw some really nice ones mm. walking, watching everybody walk in today. Okay, I need. An uncle 
with a thick gold chain. Onks, I'm come talking down, nice. Onks. Ah. I need a nice one. Onks. It cannot be fake. No yeah. fakes. Do you have not to put it in our hand so we can chain. test if it's real or not. We need real jewelry. I don't hear anybody. anybody? Okay, it doesn't have Anyone? to be an uncle. Anybody, go chain. Anyone? Anyone, go chain. Mom, go chain? dad. Go uncle, chain. You can wife, win a free brother. prize here. You Anyone? just got to come up to the stage. Is there anybody? Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see it. Let's see. You got to weigh it. Is it nice? Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Let me try. Do you want to try? Yeah. Hold it. Oh. Oh. That, I'm scared. That feels like real gold. I'm Catch. scared. Oh. Oh, 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 my. oh, oh, whoa. okay. Yeah, that feels that's real. A good one. That's prize worthy, that I think. Great. I think yeah, so too. Good. Okay, I agree. I agree. This is for you. Do Ooh. these look good to you? Those are the Those best are chicharrones in Hawaii, I heard. Yeah, the best. I've never had them. So when you open them, let me have some, okay? There's the crunch and the soft fat. Wow. Oh, no. It's bomb. Could have been one of you guys, but you didn't come up. I know someone has jewelry on. I see a lot of it sparkling. <laughs> okay. This one should get some of you guys up, I hope, hopefully. Anybody who has a long, luscious mullet in the crowd. But if you do come up to the stage, you have to make sure you're going to shake your mullet like this. You have to. Like you that. have to show that hair off. Anybody? So we can see it. Some contenders? Oh, here we go. All right, so since we have three of you guys on stage, there can only be one winner, unfortunately. Right. But so each of you guys are gonna give a shake, and the crowd's gonna help us decide who wins, oh, okay? Okay, okay. That's a so tough one, that's to a tough first? one. Who wants to start first? Who wants to go? I can start first if you guys want. Go ahead, Gab, go ahead. Show them how it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like okay, ready? Or we'll start over here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. Okay, right here. Oh! He went around town, kind. All right, give it to us. Okay, right here. Oh! <laughs> Do we have a clear winner? Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Macadamia. I knew that would bring him in. <laughs> Good I job, everyone. Good job. Good job. I am multiple record uh, Really? Can we get a round of applause, please? But you at heart. That was pretty nice. You have a really nice. I need your conditioner and shampoo routine. And, okay, perfect. <laughs> perfect. So for our last gimme gimme, um, because we are college students, we are going to be looking for a twenty dollar bill. So anyone that has a twenty dollar bill and wants to come up to the stage, of course, Show me you're not just going to come money. up here and win nothing. You win a prize. If you have fifty. A hundred? Oh! Right, right, right. You guys can still bring it. Oh, no, we'll take it. We'll take it. Thank you. No, 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 no. no it's okay. It's okay. Let's see. Perfect. Right. That was so good, guys. I'm happy with the hustle. I'm happy. Right. Wow. Right. We got. Thank you. Wow. We got. We got eighty dollars. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Go. Sounds good. Thank you for playing. Thank give you me, guys give me, for everyone. With us. Oh. The visa. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to do about this one. Are you guys willing to like buy us lunch or something? I've never seen this much green in my life. Me too. Me too. Me too. All right. Well, who came up here first? Who did come you up did. here first? Who came the farthest? Who who did run the farthest? Where who did, did we see from? that ran the farthest? What is that? That's like Timbuktu. I need I need rock paper scissors or something. You were first. You hustled. Come on. There you go. Right. Yeah, of course you guys get right. your 20s back. We have the dispute settled, I guess. Thank you guys so much for coming up. Good job. And for your Good check. hustle, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. And that's all for our gimme gimme. Thank you guys for playing. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of the show. We'd now like to highlight the people who played a key role in putting together all our dances, our instructors. 
They share a song that talks about the three tallest mountains on the island of Hawaii, Mauna Kea, Mauna Loa, and Hua Lalai. Our instructors share a story about the beautiful, majestic water, winds, and rain Hawaii Island has to offer. We hope to woo you with this fun and energetic song entitled Hawaii no Eka Oi. friends and family, aloha. Uh, we're gonna slow it down with this next tune. So, uh, all of us, we all decided that one of our favorite local artists from Hawaii is uh, the Ka'o Crater Boys. And so these are gonna be a collection of some of their most famous songs. So if you know the words, please sing along and I hope you enjoy.
stands for I am Hawaiian and emphasizes the importance of being connected to our kupuna ancestors and the aina land. This mele focuses on finding strength in who you are and where you come from. It is with this strength that we are able to flourish even when we are far away from home. Please take in the beauty, strength, and grace of our vahine.
Our next mele, Teve Teve, talks about lava'i'a, or fishing. Lava'i'a is a Hawaiian tradition that is still used today to help provide for families and communities. Look out for the ami, or swaying of the hips of our kane, that mimic the wiggling of an i'a, or fish. brings many mixed emotions. The joy of almost being done, but yet the stress of having so much to do. And our seniors have supported each other through it all. Our next melee talks about the importance of leaning on one another and spending quality time together. 
the composer of this melee, John Kamil Loha Almeida, uses kauna, or deeper hidden meaning, to relate us to this year's theme, Ehoi Ikapiko. This melee represents the time our seniors spent together creating memories that they will remember forever. As they take the stage, we want to honor and thank our seniors for their leadership, guidance, and love. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Now please welcome the senior class as they dance to Noho Pai Pai. but I still wanted to be in the picture because I'm a senior too. As you but, should. <laughs> right, as I should. Our next game is going to be trivia questions and we're going to ask questions about Pacific University and NHOH. You have to come up here and speak into this mic and say your answer. And if you're right, you get a prize. If you're wrong, sorry, you gotta go. Too bad, all right. <laughs> First question. What year was Pacific University founded? I hope someone on this side of the crowd runs up and tells us the answer because we're all looking at it this way. What could it be? Who's gonna get to this mic first? Up? Introduce, so wait, 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 say your name first. I'm Suze. Hi, Suze. What's your answer? 1849. Yeah! Ding, ding, ding! All right! And Thank you for you rushing get up here. A box of Hawaiian <laughs> Thank you guys for coming up. There's more questions, so you have way more get ready, chances. Get ready. Okay. Our next question is, what does NHOH stand for? Ooh, we said I said it times. in the introduction. Yes, we did. And it's all on the programs. And so someone... We want correct pronunciation with this right, one, too. Because... Or Haya is going to come after you. <laughs> someone, mm -hmm. 
Someone is going to correct you right now. No oh, one wants oh. to tell us. He's running. Wants He's to tell us. And she's taking her time. There oh we my go. God, he's gonna nope, get she's here first. Sorry. She really wanted the Ethan's juice. Mother, by the way. <laughs> Ethan, this is your mom. She's not going to get her prize. You know what your prize is, What's your answer? Wait, what's your name? Marcus. And what's your answer? Now, what's your Oahu. Marcus? No. <laughs> what's your answer? What's your answer? Oh. Now, Oahu, Hawaii. Yes, um, yeah, you win. You win. You win. Thank you this for playing. Your... Thank you for the hustle. We appreciate right. that. Thank you to Auntie for just answering. Oh, yes. <laughs> Next question. Who was the previous advisor of NHOH before Auntie Jana? I feel like only Alumni, OG where are you? people know that. Oh. Does no one in the crowd know it? Someone told I see kid. people running. Yeah. Oh, oh. Are you going to get here? Are you right. Gonna... What's your name? Uh, Ellen. Ellen, what's your answer? Uh, Auntie Edna? Yes! yes! Good job. And you get your wonton chips. We'll snack on it, but don't eat it in the gym. Our next question is, what is Pacific University's mascot? People on this side now, they it's should know the, the answer. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, what's your name? My name is Lita. What's your answer? Um, the <laughs> dragon dog or the boxer? Yeah, the boxer! It's a boxer! Hey. Here's hey your for prize. Effort. I still don't know what the boxer is made up of. I think it's, it's a Chinese mythical creature made up of a dog and dragon. A, a boxer? I'm not sure. Boxer, a boxer, boxer, a boxer. Right, boxer, 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 boxer nation. Boxer dead, actually. Boxer dead. My, my apologies. Right, right. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> How many years has Luau and Hoike been happening? It's not our first one, but this Definitely is our first consecutive luau together. That's so happy to celebrate. Oh, oh, oh my god. Wait, did you win already? Are you sure? Are you telling the truth? What's your name? Nina. Okay, Nina, what's your answer? 62. Yeah! 62! I got it. Okay. 62, that's, that's a long straight to her time. Parents. Some people here have been here for 57 years of the oh, yes. That's that Uncle really Jeff? long. Our next question is, who can name all the eight islands of Hawaii? Ooh. Ooh, if we all paid attention in our middle school history Hawaiian class, what? What? shout out yes. DOE, they, oh. they taught us all the islands right. in Hawaiian history. You got the answer? Okay, we're gonna count everyone. So after she names one, say the number. So, go. Hawaii, one. Maui, two. Ho'olawe, three. Wahoo, four. Kauai, five. Ni'ihau, six. Lanai, seven. You're missing one. Vegas. Friends are helping you. you just remember. They, what, what have you done so far? Can we help her? What's the eighth island? Who, what's, what's, her, what's her last island? Molokai. Molokai. Did you hear their answer? It's louder, louder. She can't hear you. Molokai. Molokai. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> I'm freaking out. This is for running. Just for the effort, okay? Good job. Almost. <laughs> and our next question is... What are all of the MCs' names? Ooh, I'm gonna, my feelings are gonna be hurt if you forgot. Who paid attention in the beginning? What are all of our names? I almost said your name after I asked you that question. <laughs> that's, that's a one free answer. <gasps> no one knows our names. No one knows all of our names? <laughs> Who knows our names? There's... Oh, oh, oh! Run! Is it on the program? Oh. <laughs> it's in the program! Oh my gosh, Chi Chi! My name is Charlotte, Zoe, Karen, Mia, Jenna, Gavin. Okay, okay, I, okay, bonus. Which one? Who, what, what's, what, our what's our names? <laughs> you're Zoe. Right. You're, so you're Zoe, okay. and what does she look you like? are Jenna. Yes! Yay! Good job, thank you for playing. And that's all we have for our trivia questions. Thank you everyone for playing, and we will see you again. Enjoy thank the show. You.
Today's Filipino community in Hawaii traces its roots back to the 1900s, when contract laborers were recruited from the Philippines to work on the sugarcane plantations in Hawaii. Tinikling is a traditional folk dance of the Philippines that originated during that time period. It is characterized by the movement of one or more dancers and two bamboo poles that are beaten to make a rhythm. There are many stories about where this dance originated, but the most common explains when plantation workers worked too slowly, they were punished by standing between two bamboo poles which were struck against their feet. In order to escape punishment, they must hop over these rods. This tradition later turned into a skillful dance. Today we'll present to you a traditional and modern version of Tinikling.
The Maori people would traditionally perform the haka before a battle in order to intimidate their opponents. Various actions are employed during the course of the performance, including showing the whites of the eyes, pukana, or the poking out of the tongue, vetero, performed by the men only. You will see a variety of vigorous body movements, including the slapping of the hands and the stomping of the feet. Pay close attention to the men's facial contortions as they share with you the New Zealand culture. originates from the islands of Samoa. Siva Afi is a modern interpretation taken from ancient gestures of warfare and battle. In Samoan traditions, warriors would use lightweight wooden swords or clubs with a sharp edge, hook, or animal tooth, known as nifo oti, or war knife, to display a warrior's spirit and prowess through skilled spinning. 
Accompanied by the sound of the apa can and pahu drum, the men and women will now demonstrate the art of Siva Afi.
Yolana, this next song comes from the beautiful island of Tahiti. The vahine, or woman, now present a Tahitian otea, or type of Tahitian dance, that is characterized by rapid hip shaking motions to toere and fa'atete drum beats. This dance shares the story of a young girl in French Polynesia learning about who and where she comes from. Her mother teaches her she is descended from the warriors of Rapa Nui. Notice how these vahine come together and find the strength in who they are.
thank you all for attending Nahomana o Hawaii's 62nd annual Luo in Hawike. We hope you all enjoyed the show and learned more about the many cultures that Hawaii has to offer. As our evening comes to a close, it is tradition to blow the pukani and sing Hawaii Aloha, which can be found in the lyric program. Please rise and sing Hawaii Aloha with us.
Jana and Nahal Mano Hawaii. I wanted to thank you one more time for coming this evening. And aloha. The solar gym will be closing 10 minutes from now so we can clean up and get everything out of here.
Thank you.